How's it going? Oh, fabulous. What a great evening. I know. I love it. How do you gorgeous, think it's going so far? Amazing gallery. Wonderful. Amazing gallery. We knew it was going to be a gorgeous space, but once we actually got here, it's just it's, it's exceeded our wildest expectations. Sure. Fantastic place. Yeah. So we have a few pieces behind us here. Yeah. Um, and I see that you do a lot of detail work. How I do a lot of inspire? detail work. Uh, yeah, you know what? This came out, I've drawn my entire life. I literally have a, uh, uh, a drawing that I did when 22 months um, old of a race car. And it looks like a race car, 22 months old. Um, I've done it my entire life. So this is just an evolution of um, literally a lifetime of drawing. And, and I was the kid who doodled in all of the uh, uh, borders of all my notes during school. I was that kid, right? So then it's basically just turned into doing uh, a series of graphics and scenes within the actual piece itself. Um, it's just a blast to do. I love it. What's your favorite medium to use? So, we actually have an original here. Um, it's uh, acrylic backgrounds with a pen and ink on top of that. Um, I started out using a lot of watercolor, uh, doing the pen and ink over that, but it, I could never get the vibrant colors. And I love the rich, 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 vibrant colors um, that I can achieve with acrylics. So, uh, it, they start with very vibrant backgrounds, really, really bright, bright. Um, like the flower was incredibly bright, but then when I put the, the pen and ink on top of it, in this case, I use red ink. It knocks those colors down just a little bit, uh, but it still gives that vibrancy that you just can't get from watercolor. So acrylic within pen and ink. Um, most pen and ink I use black, but I'll often feed different colors through my uh, through it. Sometimes I work on a very small scale, eight by ten. Um, I'm starting to work bigger. I'm, I'm really enjoying the working bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, as I get older, and I realize. Oh, my eyesight is not getting as good as it used to be, and a lot of my collectors can't see either. So I'm working bigger, so we don't have to get so close with our glasses. Um, but uh, yeah, I really I want to start working a little bit bigger. But uh, I, I still find myself working on a little small scale as well. So both, yeah. Why do you use such vibrant colors? Like, what drives you to use such? We live in Hawaii. Have you gone outside? It's everything is in Technicolor. We live in paradise. The water's richer and bluer and deeper. The the jungles are just green. The heliconia leaves are just the most vibrant green you could possibly imagine. It's hard to find colors at, at the paint store that actually match what's here in our local surroundings. Um, it's one of the only places in the world I think where you can jump in the water and the fish are 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 technical. You know, it just doesn't seem like they could be that vibrant. So for me, it's just a reflection of what we see around us and what we live in on a daily basis. Bill, congratulations. This place is amazing. I wish you all success. And I know that with the staff that you've amassed and the artists that you've got in this gallery, it's going to be amazing. So congratulations. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. No problem. Thank you. Good job. I need help. I need help. Here, come on. Here.